What's that word, family? Hey, man, check this out. Nigga, don't believe that song. Gangsters don't live that long. I guess the homeboy wife and Lucci is finding that out the hard way, man. Because guess what? Documents are appearing to rise and say that wife and Lucci is a marked man in prison. Man, he desperately is trying to get the hell up out of the Fulton County Jail by saying that another M.A. stabbed him. And he heard that there's a price on his head. So check this out and I'll be back with more commentary. Wife and Lucci is desperately trying to be bonded out of an Atlanta jail after a allegedly being stabbed by an inmate last month. TMZ broke the story, reporting that the rapper filed a request in February claiming that a fellow inmate at the Fulton County Jail stabbed him. The Everyday We Lit rapper also says that he's been told there's a bounty on his head while he's in the prison. In the documents, the 31-year-old YFN Lucci described allegedly being stabbed from behind while on a video call with someone outside. Allegedly, the other inmate used a homemade shank to stab him. Since the alleged February knife stabbing incident, YFN Lucci claims that he's been told there's a price on his head, fearing for his life at every time while he's in jail. Until his trial comes, of course... Now, the rapper is asking a judge to grant him bond so that he can bounce up out of jail. And TMZ also adds that Lucci says he will be down for a 24-hour home confinement and wear a monitoring ankle bracelet if the bond was granted. And in case you missed it, Lucci is in jail right now because prosecutors said he violated the previous bond conditions in the murder case by going to a strip club in a recording studio. Now, check this out, man. Sometimes the hunter become the hunted. And that's exactly what's going on right here, right now. Now, Lucci finds it convenient for him to tell on somebody else or say, I'm being threatened by a gang. Do we believe him? Yes or no? Is this an elaborate scheme to get wife and Lucci free? Let me know in the comment section how y'all feel about this whole situation because I don't know what to think about it. You're locked up for a murder case, right? Also, you violated the bond that they put you on in the first place. So what does that mean? Do we need to let these killers loose? Isn't there something wrong with that? I see something wrong with that. If you're accused of murder in the black community, especially the way the black community is ran right now, ain't no way in hell I want to see a murderer out on bond walking up and down the streets or handling any type of business because even people on house arrest still commit horrendous crimes. So tell me how you guys feel about this in a conversation, man, because I really don't give two shits about why and Lucci. All I know is that this guy used to date Lil Wayne's daughter, Reginae Carter. I'm not sure if they're still together or whatever, but I do know that he's behind bars. Now he's dropping documents, man. Is that considered snitching? I'm not sure because where I'm from, we don't get mad. We don't drop documents we get even right ladies and gentlemen especially if you're a boss you claim to be a boss in all of your raps you claim to be this you claim to be that but now when the rubber meets the road you can't handle the pressure let me know how you guys feel about this whole entire situation in the comment section i'll be back later with more news and commentary peace why fan lucci is innocent until proven guilty